I don't need to tell you what I'm doing. I'm watering my trees. And although it's a shady, cloudy day today, they still need a lot of watering. It is the first week in June, the 8th of June. So this is the start of the British summer. And already we've had some casualties. Let me show you some of the problems I've been having. Many people don't realize that in the summer, deciduous trees are very, very demanding. So let me talk about how I do the watering. So I literally do this twice a day, really heavily, all the time. Follow me around and you can see what I'm doing. I sometimes just use my thumb, but the rose on the end of this hose pipe is also very effective. So this is how we water. But if you notice what I'm doing, I'll let me turn the water off and I'll come back to you. You may have noticed something. Why am I using these trays filled with water? During the summer, we always have problems keeping all the deciduous trees well watered. Yesterday was a normal day. It was not very hot sun. The temperature was only like 17 or 20 degrees, but the staff had forgotten to water in the morning and look at what had happened. I cannot chase everyone around, but this has completely frazzled. This has completely frazzled. And this has completely frazzled. I don't hide what I do. Whatever I show on YouTube is the real deal, the real thing. I'm not hiding anything. We have so many plants on the nursery that it's very hard to keep on top of everything. And this is one instance where you just turn your back and it gets neglected. And this is what happens to the trees, completely shriveled. So in desperation, what I'm going to do for the summer months, only for the maples, because they've got such a lot of foliage, they transpire. That means the leaves lose a lot of moisture very easily and they dry out. So just for the maples, I'm going to stand them in these shallow trays. And you see, I'll instruct the staff to make sure that they're only standing in like half an inch of water. So the water is only penetrating up to here. So at least they won't dry all the time. So for the very hot days, I'm going to do this. Mind you, I'm not going to do this all the time. It's only in these severe circumstances that I'm going to do it. Simply by putting these in trays of water, it saved this tree. But let me now show you what we do with trees that have dried out. I'm going to now take you to the back greenhouse and show you what we do. So this is what we do when maples get shriveled or any deciduous tree gets shriveled. Please don't think that you have lost the tree. What we do is that these trees, because they've shriveled, they're no good. They're as good as dead, but it's only the leaves which are useless. We've got to get rid of the leaves to force the tree to produce a new crop of leaves. So you literally go through the entire tree. This is what leaf cutting is about. I leaf cut only when we have to do it in an emergency. I'm sure many of you have had a similar, similar situation where you've forgotten to water or your uh, uh, folks have forgotten to water. Usually if you ask your children to water, they can't be relied on and you will have to do something like this. So, as I say, this is leaf cutting, but leaf cutting in dire circumstances. I emphasize that you've got to remove every single leaf. If you don't remove all the leaves, that leaf which is still alive will take all the energy and it will not encourage new leaves to form. So I've mentioned this before, but I'll talk to you about this practice again. So when we leaf cut, that means remove all the leaves of the tree, the tree is desperate to produce food because the leaves are the food factories. Pardon me if I use simple analogies. I'm not a scientific person and I don't want to blind you with scientific jargon. So what I'm doing is removing all these leaves because these leaves are as good as useless. They're dead. So in order for the leaves to function and produce food for the trees, if I can use the term food, 
we have to remove it to encourage the new crop to grow. But it's important to remove every single leaf. I'm not going to spend the entire video time showing me removing every leaf, but we'll switch it off and when I've done everything, I'll come back to it again. So we are not talking of winter image. This in fact, what it is. Talking of winter image, at many of the exhibitions, even in the high summer I've seen in China, they defoliate all their ficuses and their elms at the height of summer and exhibit the trees in bonsai exhibitions in the summer like this. So we've literally done a leaf pruning to those maples and look at these leaves. Many of them have shriveled, some have not shriveled entirely, but this is what you've got to do. And I'll follow this up in three to four weeks this tree will get covered completely with a new set of leaves. So as I say, do not panic. If this happens to you in the summer and you forget to water some of your plants and the leaves dry out, this is what you do. And as they say, there's a Japanese or Chinese saying, even monkeys fall out of trees. And the meaning of that is that you can be the best in the world but you can make mistakes. So this is what happened to us. We fell out of our tree.